Hello, welcome to the fifth lecture of the series and the second lecture of Parajambal. As you know, all of these lectures are specifically, you know, uh, targeted towards IBPSPO and Clerk 2018 exams. But needless to say, all the exams which has this kind of, you know, what do you say, this kind of uh, questions coming up, for all those exams, these classes will be of great use. So, let's, let's very fast go through what is the agenda and what will be the methodology of uh, achieving that agenda of today. First, the idea, the basic idea is to acclimatize ourselves with the actual questions and uh, practice those questions. So, all the questions that we will have will be questions based on previous year test. So, we will attempt a test first on questions based on previous year, uh, you know, the, the questions that have come in previous years and then while uh, we will uh, analyze it, we will uh, go through the detailed solution of each one of these uh, questions. Now, while you are taking the test, the pr process that we will be uh, you know, following and uh, that is that while taking the test, you will pause the lecture for the time that I have given in the right hand corner of the uh, slide. So, let us say for example, in the right hand corner of the slide, the time given is 3 minutes. So, you will pause the lecture for 3 minutes, go through that question, give 3 minutes and try to answer that questions or the group of questions that are there on that particular slide within 3 minutes, right? Do not take more time than that. Your The idea or the design of these classes are such that if you follow the time limitations that I have been talking about, then automatically you will ensure your abilities are directed towards the main exam, I mean the, uh, the actual examination. So, you would enhance your abilities in such a way that in the actual examination, you would end up scoring much, much better than what you are scoring now. That is the idea, that is the idea of these classes, right? So, uh, while taking the test, pause the lecture for the time shown in the time section of the slide and then try to do it within that time. And then obviously, we will discuss the solution where you will score yourself and after you have scored yourself, you can also put it in the comment section that, sir, I got this and uh, these are the areas that I wanted to, uh, you know, discuss with you or these are, this is one of the doubts if there are any doubts and I will clarify in the comment section. If you have any doubt after going through the entire solution that I have, uh, I will be providing at the, after you have taken the test in this lecture only, okay, right. So, let us start, let us start off with the instructions. Instruction for question number 1 to 10 is to rearrange the following sentences so that you form a meaningful paragraph and answer the questions below. So, essentially this is a parajambal question, that is what we understand and uh, the, the instruction says 1 to 10. So, the moment the first set comes, we will know how many pa parajambal set we will be doing. So, this is the first set on your screen now. So, there are 5 questions, so you will be doing 2 sets. Question number 1 to 5, read the directions properly and then move on to the question. 3 minutes, pause the lecture for 3 minutes. Done? Chalo. Question number 6 to 10, uh, this instruction here would be also for 6 to 10. So, that is a typo mistake. So, the question number 6 to 10, instruction, read the instructions carefully and then pause the lecture for 3 minutes and do this questions. Done? Very good. Time is up. Now, let us see the concepts of parajambal and once we are through with the concept of parajambals, we will move forward and do the uh, parajambal questions. This we have already discussed in our parajambal 1 class, so I will not be taking a lot of time. I will just go run you through it. First idea here is this is what type of parajambal? This was a parajambal without option. This was a parajambal question without option, right? Which means that by comparing option, you will not be able to find out the right order of the parajambal, right? The, so, so essentially, uh, you know, the options will not help in solving your question when the uh, questions are of without option, right? In the other kind of uh, with option, you know, when, when there are 
uh, options of parajimbal orders, different kinds of orders. There we can use the options to solve the question, but not here. So here one of the first things that we should do is identify the introductory statement. Let's see you identified the introductory statement, but then also that's only 20% of the job done because you'll have to, uh, you know, order five sentences or six sentences. So identifying mandatory triplet or mandatory pair, that means let's say C and E, uh, you have identified would come one after the other. That means E will come immediately after the C. So this becomes a mandatory pair. So identifying this mandatory pair becomes very important in such cases where uh, you don't have any options. So you need to make the right order and then only you can answer the questions. The option that are there in the questions are not going to help us in solving the questions as such. So identifying a mandatory pair or triplet it becomes very important in this case. And then you eliminate through redundancy check. Now this is possible. This is, uh, you know, elimination of option through redundancy check is possible in with option question. But in this, in this kind of question, we cannot eliminate, but we can filter or refine our, uh, you know, uh, the, the choices for the right order. So what will be the right order of the parajimbal question? We can refine that those choices by, uh, by, by looking at, uh, by checking on redundancy. Redundancy means that one sentence, if its position is changed, loses the relevance or its value, then it becomes redundant. And hence that sentence, if it has to be there in the paragraph, would be at that place where it does not lose its value and significance. Okay, right. Next, the last one, identify if the flow of passage. Now, if you identify the flow of the story, you know, flow of passage is nothing but the flow of the story. If you can identify that, it also helps you in uh, pinpointing what the right order would be in this case. Okay, clear? Chalo, that's great. Now, we move on to the uh, questions uh, of, of answer to the questions. Okay, so the solutions. Question number 1 to 5 is here. Let us see how do we solve it. First, I'll, you know, uh, I'll go through the whole uh, thing just like you did and solve it in my own way so that, you know, through my ways, you would get the hints of how to do it, what to do in that, uh, what, what was important to be seen in here. And if you find something useful, you can make a note of it also. So that when you do uh, the next set of questions, you automatically inculcate that habit inside you, right? Chalo, let's see. Who will be here with us when the police move out? So there is this pronoun us, which means to refer to some. Us. And obviously there is the reference to an event or something like that because uh, the police is now with these us. And uh, the, these one of these us is asking a question and that question is, that when this police would go, who will be with us then, right? So this is this is uh, uh, something that we can get from this only this sentence only. Then we move on. We move on to the next uh, uh, sentence. So this cannot be an introductory sentence as such. This does not seem to be like an introductory sentence as such. So we'll move on to the B1. We'll go back to the same ways, and if we speak out, our lives will be in danger. Achha, this is for sure that B will come after A because police moves out. That is an event that is happening. After that, we will go back to the same ways. So, police is being here. The ways are different that we can you know, already guess na? from our reading, from our ability of identifying sentences, order in the, uh, in the or place in a paragraph. We can easily guess that while police are there, there is a different set of activities taking place. Or, the, uh, or, or they are in a different zone. But the moment the police go out, they will be back in the same ways. So obviously B cannot come before A because B is referring to A. Right. So B will be after A, whether immediately after A, we do not know. This is the last uh, step, logical order. So A will come after B, uh, B will come after A, where, where it would be liquidated, let's see the other options, uh, other uh, sentences. What has happened has happened. This is a generalistic statement. Uh, until I, I know what had happened, I cannot talk about this particular being in here. So I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I don't know where to keep it. I'll keep it here only. In 2006, when the crime occurred, 
our Khayalanji resident told us within inverted commas, our lives are here, land, cattle, families. So there is an inverted commas that has been opened, but it has not been closed anywhere. Now, but there is an important thing that comes to our notice and that is our. Now this our and this us is definitely the same because there had been a crime and uh, this resident is talking about in this whole paragraph only one person is talking and that person is talking and referring to himself or his group as a whole. So this shows very clearly that D should come before A if D has to refer to the, uh, that, that us which is in A. Now, uh, now we move on. Now we also do not know whether exactly a before A it would come or not. No one. Now this seems to be an answer, answer of sorts to which one? This one, right? Who will be there? No one will be there. So this is sure that A E is a mandatory pair. Now we are sure that A E is a mandatory pair because a retrospective question has been asked in A, which has been subsequently un uh, been answered in E. So A E is a mandatory pair. Followed by B, I do not know whether the B would come immediately after it, but we will still keep it. That is the way it is for us. Now, the inverted commas is closed. So, that means that the whole train of sentence ends out here. Because this sentence is also uh, has also been delivered by Khairalanji resident. This sentence has also been delivered by the Khairalanji uh, uh, resident. This and this also has been delivered by the Khairalanji uh, resident. So I know for sure that the C will come after a, D, A, E and B. Right. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry. F would come. F would come. I am sorry. F would come after D, A, E and B. This is the way because it is ending. It is ending. Now we will look at the position of C. Now we need to decide the position of C, where it would go. What has happened, has happened. So this seems to be in reference to the events that has happened. Now, uh, no, 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 look at the, the uh, uh, remember our uh, redundancy rule. If I put C before these, before A, E and B, it will not mean much. Why? Because the speaker is giving us a tone of helplessness. The speaker is telling us that he cannot do anything because once the police goes out, he will have to go back to his old ways own, uh, and, and then he is at the mercy of the people around him. So there C is seems to be more of a, you know, afterthought. And, and, and showing that because we have to go back to our old ways, we cannot delve into rightness or justice. Therefore, what has happened has happened. Yes, I agree. You know, determining this, whether it would come here or here is a little difficult. But think it in this way. Think it in this way that C says what has happened has happened. Now, you know, this from from a from a flow perspective it shows that our lives are here land cattle families if i put what has happened has happened in between it seems to be disconnected whereas a after d who will be here with us when the police move out seems connected with d right but after after a e b d a e b when i see c it is more of a summary of the kind of emotion that this person is going through is condition that yes uh, when when you are uh, there it is okay but when the police would not be there then what will we do we'll have to go back to our same ways and then if you speak about it the, our lives will be in danger so we are not going to do anything we will treat is that what has happened has happened so it's more of a summary kind of right and also then 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 there is this this that is the way it is for us what is this that referring to? This that has to refer to this summary. That see my dear friends what has happened has happened is the kind of attitude we say, go with in, his, in our life. So that here refers to this particular summary event that 
we are referring to because if it is not they if it is not referring to it then what would that refer to will it refer to our lives are here will it refer to that no one would be there or will it refer to who will protect us we cannot say na there are different things that can be relevant for that but the moment we summarize it with c that boss what has happened has happened i can refer to this event by that that can refer to this c event right okay so what is now the uh, so where should c be c should be oh sorry c should be here d a e b after that summarizing with c and end with f why because all of these are being spoken by that khairalanji resident so hence if the inverted commas are started it will have to end also and it ends here at the last sentence so your right order is d a e b c f that's our right order so what are the answers to the question the first sentence of the passage is d the third sentence of the passage is e the second sentence of the passage is a the fifth sentence of the passage is c and the last or sixth sentence of the passage is f clear no doubt very good if you have any doubt after you know uh, uh, try it once yourself do not ju just go come to the solution part try it once yourself and then Uh, go through the solution then you would be clear why where you missed it if you are wrong or if you are right then you would know that the right order has come in this way theek hai chalo next question question number 6 to 10 now if you look at the instructions here question number 6 to 10 the first sentence has been given and the rest of the six sentences has to be ordered in a particular way hai na so if if that is the case how do we do so we know for sure that the first sentence is one so now we have the starting point it makes our life a little easier not much easier but a little easier so let's see what is the first sentence the first sentence is so how is global competition changing company so that's a question so most probably the passage would be about answering this question right because as the first sentence is the first sentence i am imploring a question i am introducing a question that means that definitely there is a chance that it would be followed up by the answers to that question so let's see the first sentence a for example a group with a europe wide pay freeze may have to be flexible enough to authorize salary increase to specialist in developed countries who are still able to jump ship for better offer so this is an example na example of what so a cannot be the first sentence we need something which who to whom a is giving an example hai na second a b1 second the emerging market obviously this cannot be the first sentence because it is already saying second so we we'll, we can still read it but i would prefer we move on to the next first businesses are having to respond faster than before to pay changes first of all there is a first so this can this is a good candidate for uh, being the first sentence in the answer second pay changes is what the example is referring to in a that even if there is a pay freeze in europe they might have to give you a pay increase in developed uh, countries a uh, developing countries like maybe india china so this is the relevant uh, you know thing that's going on so one option the one chance that we see is a mandatory pair of c and a i don't know whether it would come immediately after one it might come immediately after one if there is no better uh, sentence to follow one and if there are better sentences to follow one it would be coming after that sentence but it will come after one and ca would be a mandatory pair a case in point today is africa where rapid growth in key countries notably nigeria has persuaded many business people that the continent's time may finally have arrived so you know uh, in africa there uh, the, we are seeing 
uh, increase of what do you say uh, businesses in many, many countries like Nigeria and hence a lot of businesses are thinking that this is the right time to invest in Africa is what D is saying. Okay, right? Achha, in the preceding sentences, what do you think D is related to which sentence? D is related to B. See, B says second the emerging market companies uh, 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 as well as multinational established multinationals are rivals now. These in no ways can be ignored. So, D is somewhere related to B, whether directly related to B, we will see later on. E, the sight of well-paid expatriate foreign managers inspires the local Indian executives to ask for more. Now, this is again related to pay. This is not related to uh, emerging markets. This is related to pay. So, obviously, this E has to come after A. Whether immediately after A or not, we are seeing that. So, such countries where people move easily like India are seeing executive pay rising rapidly. Achha, now, here you look at this. F talks about people jumping from one company to another company. Now, the same thing has been referred to in A. This makes F a follow-up argument after A. So, F follows A and then E from this executive pay rising rapidly taking this Q forward, E explains this. So, C, A, F, E, cafe becomes uh, uh, you know, a, a mandatory quadr uh, quadrat. Okay, so this, that's a mandatory quadrat, and now we would look at B and D. Now this is for sure that B has to come after this mandatory quad uh, quadrat. Why? Because B is talking about the second way global competition is changing companies. The first way is what has been discussed in C. The second way is what has been discussed in B. Now the placement of D. D seems to be related to B and there is no other option left or sentence left that can follow B. So, the only remaining sentence that is somewhat related to B has to come immediately after B. There is no other choice. So, D will come after B. Achha, D cannot come after 1 because then one, uh, one part of, of BD would be at the first and another part of BD would be at the end. That would not make a good flow. So, what is our flow? 1, C, 1, C, A, F, E, B and D. This is our flow. So, our flow is 1, C, A, F, E, B, D. So, what is, what are the answers based on this? Let us see. The last sentence, the seventh sentence, so that means that the original sentence that has been given, the first sentence is considered as the first sentence. Right. So, we will not have question related to first sentence at all. We will have second to seventh sentence. So, the last sentence is D. Right? The fourth sentence. Fourth sentence starting from 1. 1 C A F. So, the fourth sentence is F. The fifth sentence is after F E E. Third sentence is 1 C A. So, A is our third sentence. Second sentence is 1 C, C is our second sentence. So, these are our answers to the question, question number 6 to 10. Clear? Okay. So, what's your score? Tell me what is your score? If your score, let's see, if your score is in the range of 9 to 10, then you have got a very good score. But, if your score is in 7 and 8, then also it's a good score. I'll, I'll consider that to be also a good score, more than 70% in such kind of questions. But if it is 5 to 6, it's average, it needs a lot of improvement. And less than 5, it's a bad score. You would have to practice a lot of parajambles and you know refer to the parajambal, all the parajambal lectures that are there on our channel, maybe. Right. You see, I was I was going through our uh, the the some of the uh, queries that you were putting in uh, comment section and also in our FB group that what to do with parajambles. I I feel like uh, leaving parajambles sort of question, queries like that. So I thought that I would follow up with th this this particular session so that you know that parajambles are not 
uh, you know something that you uh, would make a mind set up from first uh, hour only that I am to not going to do that. So therefore, what the how does it matter? Because see, please understand even 30 questions, 5 questions, you automatically move out of your scope of attempting. Then it will be very difficult for you to compete out of 25. So you should, yes, what priority you would give it to, whether you would use, uh, take it for at the end to answer, that's entirely upon the strategy that you make for yourself in the paper. But leaving it without even reading through is not an option at all. Who knows, the questions are easier in your slot and when you are putting them in order, they fit into a chronological order maybe. So, anything can happen. Na? Why to look at the negative side of it? Look at the positive side of it. If the positives happen, then leaving that question, you would be repenting it for the whole life. Right? So, therefore, focus on doing all questions. Prioritize them obviously in your order of attempt in your strat uh, in your uh, sessions of uh, uh, you know uh, it, uh, dividing that 20 minutes it what to do first and what to do next. But be prepared to do these questions, and that's why I give you now. Now we have practiced four questions that were based out of in these two lectures we have discussed four cases that are 20 questions that were based out of your last year papers, previous year's papers. So, even if you understood, uh, understand this, you would be able to make a good impact in your, uh, you know, uh, in your own thought process and practice more, then everything would be fine when it comes to answering them correctly, right, okay. So, hoping that you would, you know, uh, take the maximum benefit out of these lectures. I uh, will be closing today's uh, session. Thank you very much and all the best.